Yeah. I'm 15, learning a machine. If that says anything, then anyone else can do it. Our favorite aspect of business is to help you take an idea and create a business or a product. To see a 15 year old take an idea, develop a product and build a business around it is why we are here. So here is Stone to tell you about stuck up archery pins. I'm Stone Henderson. I do competitive archery. I'm starting to get into machining and I got a Tormach 440. I do competitive archery because I can travel the world with my team. My uncle got me into it about like four years ago and it's very fun because I get to see it go to like Italy and all these other places and get to do all these cool experiences. I make these target pins that hold the target up, but so like all the tournaments, they have these ones that are cheap and like you they, they're like nails and you press them down and they hurt your fingers. And I saw a few that people can show their brands off and ambassadors and all that stuff, they can show their brand off and put their logo on top of a target pin. So when every time you go to an event, you can see the pin and all that and they don't hurt your fingers and they're just customizable and all that. My design is has chamfers and all this stuff. stuff so you have more surface area to press down onto. And the ones they provide have these, they have a nail that points out that it can like, like it, it really hurts actually. When you push on down on it, it has like these edges on it that are pretty sharp and it just hurts. Yeah. I always been into watching machining videos like tie into CNC and how they have their academy. So I already, already took some of the classes way before, even just to see what CAM is and stuff like that. And they have good CAD um, tutorials. Oh, so a few months back, I was into making a product with knives and I needed to figure a way to get it without outsourcing it would be very expensive. But I also really been into like the process of making something. So that's how I got into machining. Uh, so I always made knife parts and archery parts on my 3D printers, but they, I can only do plastic. So now I'm gonna start being able to make metal things of the same nature. Because who wants plastic scale? <laughs>
that can pump out a ton of more parts than this can at a faster rate. So then at that point, will you keep the 440 and the 1100, or you will just sell the 440 and then... I'd keep it. You keep them both. Yeah, because it's, it's good. <laughs> staple. So me getting a Tormach 440 has set me a ton forward to my machining world because when I grow up, I want to be, uh, become like a job shop owner that manufactures aerospace parts. And with me getting a Tormach 440, it helps me get ahead. <laughs> <laughs>